Overflowing sewage, it's a disgusting and toxic problem in Mobile. Yeah, quite often when there is a lot of rain, like during Hurricane Nate, you can see sewage actually bubbling up from the drains. It is teeming with bacteria and it washes into our area waterways. As NBC 15 Zora Asbury explains, there's a new system designed to stop the problem that could make you or your family sick. With Mobile being one of the rainiest cities in the country and a city that's prone to hurricanes, Moz came up with a solution. It's a plan to help alleviate some of that sewage overflow in the city. We've just gotten to the point where uh, we can no longer just patch. The overflow from stormwater inundating the sewer system is a result of aging pipes. Repairing and replacing these pipes can cost hundreds of millions of dollars, and Moz says they need a solution now. That's why the utility company created a system where it can temporarily redirect the excess water flows from the sewer system. We have this uh, wastewater diluted with stormwater that exits the manholes, and we put reports out on that whenever we find them. SWAB is an acronym for Severe Weather Attenuation Basin. It's one of three projects that Mobile Area Water and Sewer is working on to stop the overflows. What these facilities do, they allow us to pull the water off of the collection system during the rain events and store it so that it doesn't exit the manholes. And then when the rain subsides and the, the flows in the sewer subside, then we drain these facilities back into the sewer and send it to the treatment plant for, for treatment. As a result, Moss customers' bills will have to go up to pay for it all. Years ago, the federal government would have grants to address such issues, but those have long since ended. And our only approach to addressing this issue is through our ratepayers. We, we do not receive tax money. Two more of these swap systems will be built, one along Three Mile Creek and another in the Islava Creek Dog River area. Moz hopes to have this project at Halls Mill Creek completed by April. Zora Asbury, NBC 15.